Americans are back in the U.S. at a hospital after surviving an abduction in Mexico. Two other Americans were killed. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. One person is in custody tonight, and we're learning more about the survivors. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen tells us how this incident is also putting the spotlight on new travel warnings for Mexico. This video was captured as four Americans were involved in a kidnapping that turned deadly during a cartel shootout near the northern Mexico border city of Matamoros. Now travel warnings are in the spotlight. A level four do not travel warning, the highest travel warning given by the State Department is in effect for Tamalupa, state where Matamoros is located. U.S. government employees have been instructed to avoid the area until further notice. Baja California is at level three, a reconsider travel to warning due to crime and kidnapping. Well, it's terrifying to see that cartels have the power to sort of stop traffic. I spoke with Leela Abed, the deputy director of the Mexico Institute at the Wilson Center in Washington, D.C. The U.S. Department of State has uh, released and, and placed a warning on the state of Tamaulipas in addition to five other states in the country, a no travel warning given the, the large amounts of crime and kidnapping that occur in, in the state as well as in other parts of Mexico. I also spoke with Ev Mead, a former UCSD and USD professor who specializes in studies of violence, migration, and peace. He says while this is a terrifying circumstance, it shouldn't stop people from from traveling to Mexico. This was a pretty rare event. Um, it almost never happens, actually. But I always think that these are opportunities to open a broader conversation about what's going on in Mexico. However, former FBI hostage rescue team member Rob D'Amico advises to not travel to Mexico. But he says if you are willing to take that risk, be cautious. Situational awareness is the most important thing. Understanding your surrounding is it's not like you're walking down your street. So don't have your head down in your phone. Read before you go again, all the travel warnings that State Department puts out and, and everything you can get about that area. You have to find out about. Meanwhile, the Biden administration says it's closely following the situation and coordinating with Mexican authorities to bring the individuals that caused this to justice, which is ultimately very hard in Mexico because of the deep corruption of public officials. We have a full list of travel warnings in Mexico on CBS 8.com. Ariana Cohen, CBS 8.